Welcome to my channel. If you want to catch my newest video, I post one every day at 8 a.m. In this video, I am going to walk you through the process of valuing the 10 stock and analyzing its financial ratios. Become a member of the channel for as little as 99 cents a month, up to $99. See the link in the top of the description. Natent is an online casino founded in 1996 and headquartered in Sweden. It is one of the largest online casinos in the world. It provides games to casinos and also offers games on its website. Evolution Gaming will acquire this company for 2.1 billion US dollars next month in November. We are looking at the ticker that trades on the Stockholm Stock Exchange, so all the numbers will be in Swedish Krona. Let's get started with the model. This company has a market cap of 21.6 billion crowns, which is equivalent to 2.4 billion US dollars. They're trading at 86.50, and they have 250 million shares outstanding. To get shares outstanding, it's market cap divided by stock price gives you shares outstanding. Let's look at the financials. Free cash flow is how you value a company. You estimate the future free cash flows, and then you discount that back to today's dollars. That's what we're doing in this video. And free cash flow is cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. Capital expenditures are property, plan, and equipment. If a company has positive free cash flow, then it could pay down debt, it could pay dividends, it could acquire other businesses, and it can invest back into their business to grow it. If a company has positive free cash flow, that means it's generating more cash than it's spending. This company has positive and pretty consistent free cash flow each year, so that looks really good from an investor's point of view. Net income is the profit and loss for a company. It's revenue minus expenses on the income statement. They also have positive and pretty consistent net income each year, so their financials look really good. Their revenue seems to be increasing. It goes from 1.5 billion to about 1.8 billion. So it is growing, not at a fast rate, but it is growing. And their margins look really good from 24% to 35%. Their net profit margin did decrease in 2019 to 24%. Net profit margin is net income over revenue. It's how well you convert revenue into profit. The higher your expenses, the lower your net income and the lower your net profit margin. So this company converts 24% of its revenue into profit. That means 76% is expenses. From reading about this company, it seems like they invest a lot of money in research and development to come up with new games to constantly be ahead of the curve. So that could be a big reason their margins aren't as high as other online casinos. Because this is a type of business that should have low overhead. Let's look at a capital structure. 2.2 billion of debt and 1 billion of equity. They pay 1.48% interest on their debt and cost of debt is 1.34%. To get cost of debt, it's interest rate times one minus the effective tax rate. And they have 70% debt in their capital structure, so they're a bit leveraged, which means they have 30% equity. And we use the capital asset pricing model to figure that out. Part of the CAPM formula is the beta. The beta is how volatile the stock is relative to the market. And they have a low beta, 0.61, so the stock moves less than the market. The lower the beta, the lower the cost of equity. And their WAC is just 3.04%, which is a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity. The WAC is a discount rate companies use to figure out if they want to take on a new project or acquire another business. For instance, if the company wanted to take on a new project that cost $1 million up front and the project was going to generate $100,000 of cash flows for the next 20 years, what they would do is they would discount the future cash flows, those future 20 years, back to today's value using the weighted average cost of capital. And if, for instance, those cash flows discounted back to today was $1.5 million, they would take on a project since it costs $1 million, they'd be generating $500,000 of profit. But if they discounted those 20 years of cash flows back to today and it was $800,000, they would not take on a project because it cost them $1 million. They'd be losing $200,000. You only want to take on projects that add value to the company. So the WAC is a discount rate we're going to apply to the future cash flows for this model. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated terminal value, which is all cash flows past year four, that's 28 billion. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. We get a value of the company of 27 billion crowns. 
we divide that by 250 million shares and we get a calculated stock price of 109 they're trading at 8650 so they're trading at a 20 percent discount it's a buy according to the model simply wall street says 78 dollars a share so they're saying the stock is 10 percent overvalued so they're saying it's a sell let's see where the stock has been trading the past few years so it seems like the stock was coming down for about four straight years to a pretty low point but ever since coronavirus hit the stock has hit its all-time highs so it looks like it's at a pretty high point but with the combination of evolution and gaming this could be a really solid company with a great future let's look at the financial ratios they don't have a good pe the median for the market 16.5 the average is 18.4 pe is stock price over earnings per share to calculate earnings per share that's net income over shares outstanding i like to see below 15 there are 50.4 so investors are paying 50 dollars and 40 cents for one dollar of earnings price of sales is also a bit weak the median is 2.0 the average is 4.8 price of sales is stock price over sales per share to calculate sales per share that's revenue or shares outstanding i like to see below 2.5 they're at 12.2 so investors are paying 12 dollars and 20 cents for one dollar revenue price to book is also high the median is 2.4 the average is 5.0 price to book is stock price of a book value per share to calculate book value per share that's equity over shares outstanding i like to see below 3.5 they're at 22.6 so investors are paying 22 dollars and 60 cents for one dollar book value Equity can be found in the balance sheet. It's total assets minus total liabilities. Really good interest coverage ratio. The median is 4.1. The average is 14.8. Interest coverage ratio is EBIT over interest expense. I like to see above 2.0. They are 15.1. So they can easily cover their interest payments. EBIT is earnings before interest and taxes. Also called operating income on the income statement. ROE is really good. The median is 12%. The average is 13%. ROE is net income over equity. I like to see above 20%. They are 45%. So they provide a great value to their equity holders. Current ratio is really good. The median is 1.3. The average is 1.8. Current ratio is current assets over current liabilities. I like to see between 1.2 and 2. They're at 1.2. Current assets are assets that can be liquidated into cash within 12 months such as cash, accounts receivables, and inventory. Current liabilities are debts and payables that are due within 12 months, such as current debt and accounts payable. The best way to look at ratios to compare them to similar companies, I've done videos on Activision Blizzard, Electronic Arts, and Zynga, all in the same industry as Natent. And if Natent has a number in green, they're better than the average. If they have a number in red, they're worse than the average. So they are about average in PE ratio because Zynga is so high. They're doing worse in price to sales, worse in price to book. They're doing fine in current ratio. They have the best ROE of all the companies, so they have great earnings. Their debt is highest among all the companies. They're using a lot of debt to fund their operation. And their market cap is the lowest among all the companies. When you convert it to US dollars, they're 2.4 billion. The average is 26 billion. And most of these companies don't pay a dividend, neither does Natent. So to summarize, I have them trading at a 20% discount. Their ratios look really weak, but their financials look really good. So let me know what you think of the video. Leave a comment. I reply to all comments and become a member for as little as 99 cents up to $99. Thanks for watching.